But you know just as well as well, online content can just be as easily stolen as well. Yeah, I've had a lot of stuff stolen. Uh, man I, law, I guess, was a big man one. Man code, yeah. I mean, that was a whole thing, man. That, that's <laughs> that's a two-hour story in its own. Uh, you get the spark notes? The sp- what the exactly clip? happened on that? Um, Here's what happened. I was out with Duval doing some college dates. Mm-hmm. And the video was getting some good steam online on Worldstar and other places and getting millions of views. And I was doing it with this guy, Derek Evans. He's from Nashville. Uh, he and I were doing this man code thing. And we were just, man should never do this. And then we inserted dramatization act out. And those act outs was what people, you know, on top of the laws. And then it became one of those things where I say on Twitter, what you think, what y'all got for me today? Suggestions. They throw suggestions out. Mm. So it became a very interactive thing. Um, I talked to Duval about doing a ver- uh, appearing in the sketch. Like, you know, like how I'm appearing on your podcast. Right. Like, oh, yeah, we'll do this. And cool. Like three months passes by and I get like a phone call. I get message, email. People start sending me stuff that's coming out. I was like, hey, man, they're shooting this show up here. Y'all, you got a TV show on MTV. I'm like, what you talking about? And my homeboy in New York was like, oh, yeah, they, y'all, y'all, congratulations. Y'all show got picked up. I'm like, what wow. you talking about? And... Man, I look up online and the the show has clearly copied the sketch verbatim. Like it wasn't a oh, it's similar. No, 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 no. The exact sketch, the exact dramatization. They copied the format and then they started adding other people. Then they opened it up and made it not less of an urban thing and made it just a a broader perspective approach on MTV. So I called, you know, friends, got an attorney, filed an injunction against Viacom. So right after that, I did shit black girls say. That went viral. So weirdly enough, I start getting emails from MTV, different networks. And so MTV emails me like, hey, we want to fly you to New York. want to meet with you, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm thinking it's got something to do with what the file, the injunction that happened. But right. really it's <laughs> about this video. So we talking. They're like, oh, we want to do some programming with you, blah, 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 blah. And Cool. We sitting in a closed environment like this, four people. Mid, mid, mid conversation, door opens up. Lady comes in. Oh, um, we're gonna have to pause right now. Um, legal's gonna come in. Um, they they letting us know you have an injunction filed against us. I'm like, oh yeah, y'all stole my show. I thought that's what y'all thought that's what we was up here for. Oh no, we thought you know didn't you know? And so, legal comes in. We had this whole conversation about how. How does this go away? Wow. They start giving me opportunity, presenting opportunity, opportunity. Well, you know, when you have an issue with Viacom, you know, we can't do anything with you at Comedy Central. We can't do anything with you at BET. We can't do anything at you at this. So you have to, you know, sign a waiver to remove the injunction. But we want to do things with you. We want to get you involved in this show and this show and this show and this project. And I'm like, all right, do I try and fight Goliath? <laughs> That's what I should have did. Oh, man. And I, I kind of pushed it and was like, you know what? This is going to be fucked up. Let me tell you what he didn't do. Out of everything <laughs> I listened to, the motherfucker didn't call back to the H and say, hey, um, they stole my fucking show. What should I do? And the whole crew would have got our attorneys and everybody was like, hey, man, this is how we do. But see, this is what happened when you're a young boy. You're trying to, oh, I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm in here. He got fucking intimidated. See, he should have called Nat Turner. Boom. Ali Sadiq. Yeah, that's that's what I've been dealing with my whole time. Doing comedy. <laughs> it's just like, it's that big brother show. Oh, so you didn't want to fight him? So what would you, yeah, what would you settle? like? Well, the settlement ended up being um, two things happened. One, they end up giving us like right at six thousand dollars for for the whole thing. No, nah, for, for the whole thing, just to appease, just for like, hey, you know, uh, solicited work, gave us some bread, six grand That's for a it. TV show. You was shit for the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, promises and some other shit. Mm-hmm. So you got money and then promises. Nothing legal. Nothing on paper, nothing written down, not one attorney that this motherfucker got. Wow. Had a manager at the time, uh-huh. RIP. 
He R.I.P. No, you had a friend, your frat brother, <laughs> uh, went to college with you with no legal experience. <laughs> He's just part of the squad. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Kevin Reed, he was like, he was like, Billy, listen, listen to me. I know you want to fight these people. You just got to be smart. And uh, I skipped a whole another part of the story that I didn't take. So <laughs> I did, I did, I did get get in get into it trippy wise. Me, I'll go. Of course, first thing I do, I call Duval. No response, no answer. I get on Twitter, and um, y'all stole my shit. Blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. He says to me, like, man, this is what you're doing. This is what you want to do. You want to do it this way. And, um, and if it was one thing I learned from that, it's like you pick and choose your battles differently. Okay. And it's one thing I could tell you. It's like, you know, in, in television, in Hollywood, it doesn't work the way the street works, the way you think it does. It's, it's different. It's, it's, it's a different process. It's a different beast. It's a different animal. The and, streets work in all aspects because everybody feel like they want to be safe. So if you would have said, hey, X, Y, and Z, and then we would have put the streets on it, then it'd have been it have been different situation. You see how when somebody slapped Drake and then the streets call, then all of a sudden they, they throwing a festive, they throwing a party for Drake, all of a sudden the same person that slapped him. And then streets streets mean a lot. Mm. Put, I don't give a fuck what industry you in. Streets mean a lot. Steal my motherfucking show and watch what happened in the streets. <laughs> okay. But is Billy it, from the streets? Chattanooga is the He got streets. people. He got okay. people. You, hey, you probably not from the street, but if somebody fuck with you and I'm here, you call me. Yeah. It, they be like, this white boy ain't even from your neighborhood. I don't give a fuck. He with the streets. And see, One. and see, this is when you become accessory to <laughs> several <laughs> assaults and batteries. Right there. <laughs> I already knew. I already knew. If I call him, uh -huh. it's, that ain't that ain't going to be a meeting, a talk. It's yeah. going to be somebody desk getting set on fire, some trash cans getting through through some windows, mm -hmm. some, some people getting beat up. Yeah. And, it, and, and it's one thing I had to learn. It was like, you know, it's a different way. I probably, <laughs> it's a different way of dealing with this. Okay. I, you know, Twitter fingers ain't going to solve it. Being angry ain't gonna solve it. It's just understanding how Hollywood works. And that was my first lesson of Hollywood one on one. Like, mm. hey, uh, what did happen good out of it? Uh, Hot breath. Hot breath.